What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I am here to review, uh, I was asked to review a show that I do enjoy, a show that I have been watching, but I've never reviewed it on here before, uh, Insecure, which is the comedy starring Issa Rae there in season two. Um, this was episode four that I'm going to review. I had somebody say something really stupid to me. Oh, you're a guy and you watch Insecure. That was, I don't know what, what that was supposed to mean. That was stupid because I know a lot of guys that watch Insecure. What, I mean, what? What's, I didn't get that. And um, in fact, there's a lot of us, especially on the job, we have Team Lawrence and most of the guys are on Team Lawrence and then there's some girls that's on Team uh, Issa. So it's like Team Lawrence, Team Issa. Me personally, I don't think I'm on anybody's team. I see faults on both of them. I think they've both made some type of mistakes. And you know, people are people. People make mistakes. But I really like this show, so I was glad when I was asked to review it, I was glad to, you know, review it. So, you know, I want to be up to date. So I'm going to review episode four, which was titled Hella LA. Um, pretty funny. So we see that um, Issa Kelly and Molly are going to this event called Kiss and Grind. And Issa is trying to build up her man roster and, you know, you know, this she's going through this phase where she's just trying to, you know, get over the situation between her and um Lawrence. And she's just she wants to, you know, get over that. So she's trying to meet different guys and date. She's having a lot of sex and she's just moving around. They're calling it some people are calling it the whole phase. <laughs> I think that's funny, but I don't want to call it that. I don't call it that. I just say she she's going through because Men do it all the time. We 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 go th we sleep around and mess around. Nobody calls it the whole phase. You're the man. You're the player. When a woman does it now, you're making her a whole. So I don't really like that calling her a whole phase. She's just going through. You know, she's a young woman. She's broke up. She's trying. You know, do that due to that situation between her and Lawrence, where she cheated on Lawrence with Daniel, and now she's out there. So she's out there trying to soar. So really funny, she goes and she goes and meets the guy that she met online on one of those dating sites, Tinder or whatever you call those things. And she meets Felix. Y'all like this? This is I got this at a um this uh event I went to that Kevin Hart sponsored, the uh Rally Health. It's some it's a stress reliever for me. But anyway, let me stop rambling. Back to what I was talking about. Um she went on uh, she met up with Felix, a guy she met online, and Felix was so rude. <laughs> it was funny, but I'm thinking in real life, damn, that's rude. He was so rude. He tells her, was your hair like that? Mm, maybe you should change it back. Then he criticized her voice. Do you always speak like that? Then he's like, mm, I'm going to go this way, meet up with my friends. So he, he pretty much dissed her. He pretty much dumped her right there on the spot. Like He didn't even let the date go get beyond that he he was disappointed now i've been down that road where i've been on a date with someone i met online a girl i met online and she was like she was too tall she was like huge and you see i'm i'm not that i'm you know slim and she was she wasn't fat but she was like big and tall and i don't like women taller than me it just felt it just seemed awkward and weird and i'm like looking up at her like that and i know one of my friends said that's really stupid that's but that's one of my things like you she's mad tall like what i'm gonna be like hey how am i how are we gonna you know i'm reaching up for you no i don't like that so but i stayed the whole date we had a good time of course nothing came from it so i think felix was wrong i didn't like that but i thought it was funny for the show but i'm thinking like damn that's messed up <laughs> and what was more crazy and awkward was when she, um, Daniel saw all of this. So it's like, damn, I, I'm getting played in front of him. So she had to play it off. Really, really funny stuff. That's what I like about the show because it's funny and it's relatable. Um, but I still think Felix was wrong. He could have handled that differently. But that's how the show goes. Um, let's get into Lawrence. Meanwhile, Lawrence is trying to... Um, have a guy's night out. Doesn't quite go the way he wanted it to go. Um, one of the scenes I liked was he did a U-turn and he got stopped by the police. And he 
you, you catch this. Even with their humor, I like what they do in this show. Even though it's a funny show, they still have moments that mean something. You see, when he gets stopped by the police, he changes his music from rap music to like classical or whatever. And it's like, why do you have to change yourself because you don't want to, you don't want to feel like you're being a stereotype? But it's like, I could relate to that because it's like, well, let me put this on so I won't be prejudged. And that's sad. He shouldn't have had to have changed his music from rap, but he didn't want to be stereotyped and criticized and, and mistreated by the cop. The cop ended up making a little joke. Lawrence was nervous. He made a little corny joke. And, you know, Lawrence got off from that. Then Lawrence goes to the supermarket. He's all confused now. He dropped his debit card in the car, I'm assuming, and he can't pay for his food. So he meets these two girls, and they pay for it, and they hit it off. And instead of him having the boys' night out, he ends up hanging out with these young ladies. And it turns into this threesome. You know, they start flirting. Now, this right here, what makes this show so funny, this is... Every guy's fantasy. You know what I'm saying? Every guy wants to be with two. You know, that's a fantasy. I, I had to say that low because last time I said that, I got... <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> you got to be respectful with this. It's a fantasy. But what I like about what they did in this show, this is a threesome that went wrong. You never think about those parts because... You know, while they're both on him and it's, you know, getting into their thing, doing their thing, Daniel could not sustain after he released, so to speak, on the first girl and then the other girl gets on him. He don't have any more energy left and any more. <laughs> and I was sitting here like, I'm like, Dad, that's a way to deflate the fantasy because I'm like, I never thought about that. The stanima. The, I didn't think about that. You're so busy thinking about the fantasy, but the fantasy was definitely deflated because Daniel couldn't sustain and of course when he calls his friend and tells his friend about it he has to front like oh yeah it was the best time he didn't really enjoy himself that much he really did you know and those girls were crazy too because then they were snorting coke and then they were mentioning you know oh you're you didn't keep up like the other black guys because you know all of us have this super stand when you know it's black bulls so it's a lot of messages in these shows a lot of things i liked about the episode and i feel like both daniel and Issa, both y'all both need to sit down and stop it because you're still into each other she's all over the place he all over the place y'all want to be with each other you can tell they still want to be with each other people make mistakes maybe y'all can get back together what else happened tonight um Molly and her friend Dro. Dro tells her that he's in the open marriage and he wants to get down with her. Molly, that's dangerous. Stay away from that. I'm not judging the open marriage. My thing is, I don't think friends should cross that line. That's gonna be that's gonna make a mess. Mm, they got an open marriage, that's good. Let them keep that over there. You getting involved with that, I don't think I would be able to do that. And Kelly and that guy and what they were doing under the table, that was crazy too. But in a nutshell, I thought the episode was very funny. I had its great moments. I liked the characters. All the characters seemed so realistic and relatable. And another thing, I was sitting as I was watching, I was saying, Dag, they have a lot of sex on this show, a lot of sex. And then it came up, people were criticizing on social media saying, where are the condoms? Why aren't they having safe sex? What's going on? What are these characters just not having, you know, they're just all willy-nilly. But I'm like, um, did we have that criticism when Sex in the City was on? And they had a lot of sex going on in that. Did anybody ask where the condoms were on that? It's a fictional show. Relax, folks. I get what you're saying, but relax at the same time. But anyway, Issa got on... Um, Twitter and she responded and I liked her response she said you know we hear you we will be more responsible but they're saying that it's implied that they're using condoms that the characters are using condoms and so they said it, it's implied so I understood both sides of the spectrum but like I say to wrap it up I think I'm not on team Issa or team Lawrence I think they're both made mistakes I understand. Yes, she made mis she was wrong. She was dead wrong in season one when she cheated on him and whatever have you. And he didn't want to take her back. He broke up with her. But now this season, he gets he has sex with her like this quick sex, and then he just 
leaves and that he's all he's all over the place too i feel like both of them need to just try to work it out that's what i feel i'm not on anybody's team i see where they're both kind of screwed up and that's what i like about this show it's not stereotyping and making everything the man's fault it's showing that both men and women can make mistakes so that's it i hope you enjoyed my quick little review check out my other um reviews um i guess now i'll be reviewing the rest of the season of insecure so that's it like comment subscribe and you have a blessed one i gotta go i got a lot to do a lot to do today so i gotta go all right that's it hope you enjoyed it i'm out